Okay, I want to focus this video on the emotional aspect of realizing that you have HPV. For me, it was earth shattering um, because I had been so careful. Like, I was the type of person who never lets anybody even give me oral sex and never gives anybody any strangers oral sex because of the risk of STDs. And I had never, being super uh, cautious about health, um, and especially sexual health, uh, HPV, knowing like the fact that HPV could cause symptoms in men, was totally unheard of for me. I had no idea. So when I realized that I had this and I started researching it and seeing that it was a virus, that it was incurable, that it could take years to clear, that it uh, could just end up spreading all over, and that it could require surgery, that there's strains that cause cancer, and if you have an anal or a uh, wart strain, then your chances of having a cancer strain might be higher. Just all of this information, all of these negative things about it were piling up and piling up and piling up, and I was just so sad. Like, I was crying every night, and I felt like I had lost my sexuality. I was like, I, I didn't feel like I could have sex even with my partner, and uh, I just thought, like, if in the future, like, would I be unable to have sex with anybody else for the rest of my life because I would be contagious and I had given it to him unknowingly because we were having sex long before I realized that I had it. So, um, just all of this, I was, like, so burdened by guilt and shame and sadness and it was such a hard time. But, uh, I wish that I had been able to foster a more positive, more holistic perspective of it from the beginning because uh, I knew that I wanted to start being more healthy and I wanted to be better about doing yoga, about meditating and trying to keep my mind clear, but um, there was just so much work to do. You know, I had to find the doctors that could take care of it and I was in Croatia, which has terrible medical care for, especially for gay right. people. And then I also was uh, trying to find information about how to deal with anal warts, which, like, there's really little information online about it, um, and your options aren't really clear. All you see is that if you don't get it treated right away, that it's going to spread, which I think is true, but I was in a place where I couldn't really get good treatment, so just all of those stressors were piling up and piling up and getting in the way of me uh, just being able to be at peace and start working on healing. So that's part of the reason that I've created these videos so that like everything that I've learned and have spent the last several months like really researching uh, is just in one place for whoever might be in this situation um, because if I had come across something like that I would be able to just think like okay here's what I can do about it and just move forward and get on with the healing so uh, that's what I want to talk about now is that like the first thing you need to do is figure out what is your treatment plan going to be. Because once you've decided that, then you need, then you can start getting on to the actual healing. You can be like, okay, I'm doing everything in my power. Now I can let go of the worry and just work on loving myself and being healthy. So that's like, prioritize that. Like, figure out your treatment options. If you have to write down like a schedule of what you're going to do, like what if... Okay, so for example, if you try one treatment option and you still are having symptoms, then like what is option B? Like if it's all clear, then you're just following a procedure. You're not like worrying about like, oh my God, what should I do? What should I do? What should I do? Like have everything in order. Um, and then like really prioritize your health because when you start taking care of your health, when you start doing yoga or something, when you start meditating, when you start really consciously eating as healthy as you can, when you're taking the vitamins to boost your immune system, you feel like, okay, like I'm on my side. I'm not on the side of this virus that's tearing me down. I'm not like letting the mental aspect wear me off uh, because the stress of that is going to make it worse. For me, I really feel like I delayed treating my HPV because I just couldn't get over the stress and the stress was probably making it worse. So like get into this healing mode, into this taking care of yourself mode as fast as you can. And once you do that, you probably will notice that you do start to see results. Like I noticed that once I finally let go of all of the stress, of all of this worry, I started really, like, like the words started disappearing. I felt confident that they wouldn't return. I felt like I was sort of more in control of my immune system and I was saying to my immune system, like, okay, like, amp it up, do your job, and 
yeah, whether it is or not, if you feel that way, like it just gives you a lot of peace. So get there, get to that point where you're on your own side. Um, and really like you probably will be fine. It, like such a small percentage of people, like a small percentage of people show symptoms, a way smaller percentage don't still have it after six months. So just do everything that you can. And if you're really working with your immune system, you don't have a reason to worry. It's going to be okay. You're going to have a normal sex life again. You're going to be able to connect with people without feeling like the shame and the guilt and the embarrassment that maybe you feel right now. So it does get better. You just have to get to that point where you're really on your own side. So with that said, uh, good luck. It'll get better. Um, it is a process and it's not a particularly fun process, but probably it'll help you grow. So uh, check out the other videos when you watch them. Maybe you'll feel like you know more about what this thing that is interacting with your body is and what you can do to heal yourself. So good luck with everything. Uh, see you in the other videos.